Hey guys, Tim here with part 4 of our PHP MySQL forum tutorial series. Uh, in this part of our series, we're going to be viewing the topic content. So in part 3, we have the, the ability to create a topic, test topic, to part 4. We'll just say that in content here. Create your topic. It's going to give us an error again. Go back, and you can see our topic part 4 is right there. So let's get started. We're going to go over to Dreamweaver, and we're going to bust out this uh, view topic page. So I'm over here on our index page. So what you want to do is create a new file, new PHP file. We're going to wipe out all of this code. We're going to just copy code that we already have. We're going to take our view category page, copy all the code, and then we're going to paste it inside of our new file. And then inside of our div content here, we're going to wipe out anything inside of our div. So just like that, we're going to start fresh. Save our file. And we're going to name it view underscore topic. Save that. And now within our div ID of content, we're going to start with opening PHP blocks. Include our connection file. And then we're going to get our variables from our URL that is going to be passed through. So we're going to need our category ID equal to the get value of CID. We're going to have our topic ID, which we're going to call TID. Same thing, get variable instead of CID, it's going to be TID. And now we are ready to start querying our database. So first thing we need to do, I'm going to go down, start our first SQL variable. Inside there, we're going to say select all from topics where category underscore ID is equal to single quote, single quote, inside, double quote, double quote, periods. Just like we've done before, we're going to say category ID equals CID and ID equals single quote, double quote, periods, TID for our ID. And we're going to put a limit of 1 on there because we only need to return one topic. Go ahead and query that out. Or die with the MySQL error, underscore error. And then we're going to do a, a check to say if the MySQL numeros of our result is equal to two, one, we're going to do this, or else we're going to say, we're going to echo out, paragraph tag, this topic does not exist. So back within our if statement here, so this means our topic does exist, we're going to start uh, echoing out a table. So we're just going to say echo table, we're going to give it a width equal to 100 percent new line and we're just going to go a quick check to see if the session of user ID is set so we can add our um, reply button or not so we're going to say if underscore session UID and we're going to open and close curly brace and we're going to say else two curly braces. So in our first set here, this means if the session is set and we are logged in, we're going to echo out uh, a table row, with a uh, table cell with a column span of three, or two, I'm sorry. And we're always going to do is put input type equal to submit and value equal to add reply and then we're going to perform a JavaScript uh, function or onClick event here so say equals we're going to escape the double quote and we're going to escape the, the last double quote the inside here right before the second escape we're going to type window dot location equal to post underscore reply dot php and we're going to put some variables in our URL. CID is equal to. And we're going to double quote inside of their uh, periods. Say dollar sign CID. 
then we're going to put an ampersand, and we're going to say TID equal to, double quotes, period, TID. So that way when they click on the button, they're going to be redirected to post to reply with the CID variable and topic ID variable. Okay, so now we need to finish off our button, that, like so. Finish out our echo. I should do that. And in our else statement, we're gonna, this means that they are not logged in. All we're going to do, echo table row with a column span equal to a 2. Finish that off. Inside of our cell, we're just going to put a paragraph tag. Please log in to add your response. Or we're going to say add your reply. We'll just keep it simple. Okay. Quick check. Next line. Or actually, I forgot one thing. After these, we're going to add a horizontal rule. Just to make it look a little nicer. Just like so. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to need to create a while statement. So we're going to say while dollar sign rows equal to MySQL fetch a soch of a result. Open and close curly braces inside of our while loop. We're going to perform another query. And within that query, we're going to say select all from posts where category underscore ID is equal to single quotes, double quotes, periods, CID, Oops. and topic underscore ID is equal to single quotes, double quotes, periods, dollar sign TID. We're going to go return our results. Res2 is equal to the query of SQL2 or die MySQL error. I'm going to do another while, while statement. Say while dollar row two is equal to my fet, underscore fetch associ of result two. I'm going to do this. And inside of this one, we're just going to echo out table row table cell, we're going to vialign equal to top, we're going to say style equals border, one pixel solid black, which is six zeros or three, depending on how you like to code, and we're going to say, we're just going to say a div, we're going to give a style equal to min hyphen height of 125 pixels, so just make it look a little better. And then we're going to say uh, double quotes. And we're going to print out our row topic title here, our row title here. Or I'm sorry, topic underscore title. And then we're going to put a line break. And then underneath, we're just going to put by space double quotes, periods, inside there we're going to put uh, row 2, post underscore creator, this will get just the ID number with post variable, and in our later tutorials we'll show you how to format that out so it's a readable username, but for now we're just going to leave it as numbers, and then we're going to just do a, a hyphen, and then one more, we're just going to put the post date. So we're going to row to post underscore date. And we're going to give it a, a horizontal line rule. And then we're going to we need to echo or our, put our content in here. So row to post underscore content. Close off our div. Close off our table cell. We're going to open a new table cell. We're going to give it a width equal to 200. 
and V align that to the top. And we're just going to put a line equal to center. Just putting all inline styling right now. You can uh, feel free to add this to a style sheet of your choice. You can go to style equal to border on pixel solid black. Okay. I'm just going to say. Uh, just for now, we're just going to say user info here. I might not show you how to put that in there, so we're just going to do that. And we're going to put one more table row, the table cell column span of equal to 2. And then we're just going to put a line break. So let me scroll down so you can view this a little better, sorry. If you want to pause and do that, I'm going to go ahead and save the file, go back to our browser. We're going to refresh, and now we're going to click on one of these topics. So click on this one, oh, we get an error on line 34. Uh, let's, let's see right here, blah, 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 I forgot a period right here. So right here, I forgot a period. Save it, go back here, refresh, and as you can see, view topic, we have our topic posted by me, which I'm ID number one, when I did it, and then we have the content here. Doesn't look too good, but it's basic for now. If we have our add a reply button, we're going to click it. Nothing happens. Hold on, let me check this real quick. Window.location equals, oops, I forgot put single quotes around this. So in front of your post reply here, we need this, here, right here right for the last escape stream, put another single quote. Go and refresh, click that, and it goes to post reply, CID equals 2, topic ID is 3. Oops, go back. The last thing we want to do for this part is we're going to update the views. So whenever someone views, we're going to update that. So, under our while loop here, and our first closing tag, we're going to hit enter. I'm going to say dollar sign old underscore views is equal to, we're going to say row topic underscore views, and we're going to say new views is equal to old underscore views plus one. And then we need to query out. Here, I'm going to say update topics set topic underscore views equal to single quotes inside of there, double quotes and periods, and I'm going to say new underscore views where category underscore ID equals dollar sign CID and id equals tid let's say a limit of one go ahead and query that out or die mysql error okay we're going to save that I'm going to go ahead and go back here, and as we can see we don't have any views, so when we hit test topic, nothing happened. If we go back, now it has one view. Same with this one. Goes back, one, click it again, go back. Now we'll have three because I accidentally refreshed. So that's it. Okay, well I'll see you in part five. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, spread the word. Also, you can visit my website over here www.timkittutorials.com uh, Have a great day.